for the past several years, I've been busy translating the Hebrew Gospels. As a professional linguist, I have three degrees in linguistics and languages and a lifetime of professional experience. I can tell you that translation is seldom exact. There is always some meaning that is added and some meaning that is lost. It's the nature of the beast because no two languages are exact nor the cultures that they reflect. Sometimes that difference is minuscule and sometimes it is really dramatic. I invite you to join us on a journey back to the fountainhead of the original text of the Hebrew Gospels. Because up until now, everything we know about our Hebrew Messiah comes to us through the Greek filter of a different language, culture, and thought. So let's begin with the most important question there is to ask about the Hebrew Gospels. Are the Hebrew Gospels authentic? And does it matter whether the Gospels were originally written in Hebrew or in Greek? Heretofore, everything we know about our Hebrew Messiah has come to us through the Greek filter of different language, culture, and thought. The original gospel was written in Hebrew, according to all of the early church fathers. And let it be known that there was no single church father who ever denied that the Hebrew gospel, the original gospel of Matthew, was written in Hebrew, even those who didn't like the Hebrew gospels. It is the only gospel written by an apostle. It is the only eyewitness account John was edited by Gentile Greek editors. It's very clear in the gospel. It says so. So the only eyewitness account we have is Hebrew Matthew. It was the only gospel originally written entirely in Hebrew. It was by far the earliest gospel, and it was called by the early church fathers the authentic gospel. What we know is that Matthew, for certain, was written in Hebrew 